is Oleg Bravi and I am uh, originally from the Ukraine. I'm ordained evangelist, 39 years old and traveling, preaching the gospel by Yeshua HaMashiach with signs and wonders and miracles. I came to uh, United States when I was uh, uh, 25, uh, 25 years ago, when I was 15 years old. When I was 15 years old, I uh, went to church, but I went to church with my friends. Now, that was a Christian church. That was the church that they believed, of course, they believed in Yeshua HaMashiach. Of course, they believed in uh, Ruah HaKadosh, which is the power of, you know, Holy Spirit. So, I was sitting in the balcony. I was sitting in the balcony. And the... Now I know that Jesus appeared. I know, but back then I didn't know. I'm sitting in the balcony, and Jesus appeared to me in the white robe. And I was changed like this, like this. So one of the ministers, they ran. He ran from the bottom, because we were on the second floor in the balcony. He ran from the bottom, and he said, what happened to you, young man? He knew. God has spoke to him. He knew that something has taken place. And uh, when I came to that service, all my friends, we were just, you know, hey, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, not misbehaving in church, but we were like joking around. But when that thing happened, when I saw it, it's like my scales from my eyes were lifted. I could see it. Nobody told me, hey, you need to believe in Yeshua HaMashiach, you need to do this. You know, I was touched by that solid experience that, that I've seen. Nobody, you know, had to persuade me to believe in God. Nobody had to um, um, really kind of push me to it. No, 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 it was not so. It was not so. It was the personal touch, personal um, experience that... Uh, really changed my life. When I was 15 years old, I quit everything. I quit soccer. People say, wow, how, how? I quit everything. I quit everything. I totally get, at 15 years old, I'm 39 right now. You know, no turning back. I quit everything. My soccer, when people say, you are, you, you're making decisions. I said, no, I know. I know what I've seen, I remember. It, I rem it was a sunny day. I remember this day forever. I remember the church. It was a brick church, brown church, red carpet. There was, uh, the, the reason I didn't sit downstairs, because it was packed. I was sitting in the balcony, and I just would like to briefly tell you the image of Yeshua and, and things like that. What, what I saw, what I saw. I was sitting in the balcony and we were just, uh, we were not misbehaving, but we were um, uh, just joking. And I remember it was a song and then there was a prayer. And then, um, and you know, we were still, you know, we stood up, of course, and we were still. This, this is what happened. I remember my friend bumping me, but my spirit was when, when I saw that, uh, first it was a white man in a row, and, and, and he was standing in the air. I was in a balcony, and I was looking down at the church, and he was standing right there in the air, a little bit up, a little bit, you know, standing right there in the air, standing right there. Uh, and, and I feel, my body feels they're bumping, they're trying to talk, whatever. But it's like my spirit was non-responsive. My spirit, was captured by the loop of Yeshua. But I remember uh, they were, but I was non-responsive. It was like, it was such a magnetic force. It was, you know, like the magnet, two big strong magnets, it's like, pow! That's how it was. When I saw him, uh, I don't remember here, but I remember his eyes. The eyes were, were um, so loving, but yet at the same time, they were, they were very piercing. As if he, when he looked at me, he knew everything. 
when he looked at me, he knew um, the depth of my soul, of my spirit. And the funny thing is, I did not say nothing uh, with my mouth. But we were communicating. We were communicating spirit to spirit. But that time I didn't know. I didn't know that. It's like a magnet. If we were, even though we were on a distance, even though we were, we were, you know, seeing that, we were communicating spirit to spirit. I knew everything he was saying. He knew everything I was saying, but I, my mouth didn't move. I, you know, mostly people say, oh, accept Yeshua, you need to ask, you know, Yeshua to come to your life. Never happened to me. It was installed in me supernaturally. Yes, I remember the little kind of face, you know, it was darker skin, darker pigmentation skin. Um, here, I don't remember. I really don't. There was here, but I don't remember. The eyes, what got to me. It was, it was loving, but yet piercing. I mean, one look. I just look one time. Pow. I was, it was changed. I remember when that image came to me, and I saw from some re for some reason, when that me image appeared of Jesus, Jesus appeared, I saw him from the bottom of his feet. I looked the bottom of his feet. Oh, wow. And you know, the moment my eyesight came towards the, the head, and, um, and I saw, that's why I remember the little skin, and, 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 and I know there was a hair, but when the moment my eyes locked in with his eyes, that was it. I still saw him, but the communication was uh, in that moment, in that moment, he told me that he loved me, even though I didn't he didn't speak his mouth. Spirit, in that moment, I told him, hey, I need, I, I need you. I didn't speak, but it was, I, see, now I can explain it. Back then, I couldn't explain it. When that, when that minister ran from the bottom to the top of the balcony, he said, young man, what happened to you? I said, I don't know. I just saw, you know, you know, Jesus, Yeshua. I don't know. I didn't know. But when I started at that time, but when you start uh, understanding and I start praying, reading the Bible, you know, what really, that's what I'm saying. I'm still to this day trying to process. It's like the computer, you download the program, but, but still you need to then figure out how the program works. Same thing happened to me. He was downloaded into me. He was like deposited. You know, Latin language, he said, he gave us a deposit, a uh, gift of the, of the uh, Ruach HaKadosh, the gift of the Holy Spirit, it's a deposit. He was like deposited into me. So after my eyes looked with his eyes, I still was looking at him, but it was an exchange of information on a spirit. He said, I love you. And he showed me he died for me. I remember it was like a little film, a little film of his crucifixion and, and all of that. I don't know. Maybe it took three, three minutes. Maybe it took five minutes. Maybe it took 10 minutes. I don't know. Because sometimes the prayers would go long in, in, the, in the church. People would really pray, you know, shikarabara and, you know, Thank you, Holy Spirit, you know, all this stuff. People would really, really get it. I don't know how long. I, I don't know. But I do remember that my friends would keep bumping me. I remember, but I couldn't respond. You see that? I could not respond. It was so powerful. Uh, the exchange. It, it's like he locked my spirit. He locked my uh, spirit um, inside my body. That my body could not react to anything. That was that, that that was amazing. That was a most amazing thing that that uh, and and they're like uh, after I uh, that experience, my friend said, "Don't you remember we were hitting you?" I said, "I I felt it, but I couldn't respond. I could not respond." He told me about his crucifixion. He told me, you know, he told me about his death. He, I mean, I saw the blood. I, I remember. I, that's everything when I'm looking at his eyes, but yet I'm seeing like, you know, like a, like a picture within the picture, picture within the picture. He said, I love you. His mouth didn't move, but 
I could still hear as if he was speaking. I could still hear as if he was speaking. And he said, serve me. Give your life to me. And all I remember at that time, I said in Ukrainian, Dobre means good. Okay. You know, like in English. Okay. And, and it was gone. And then I could move. I mean, and, but then I, my spirit was released. But when everything that was gone, when everything, uh, the, 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 the meeting with Jesus was gone, I could still be there like, didn't you hear me bump? We was bumping you. We were bumping you. I said, yeah, I heard. I couldn't respond. But they said, when you look at us, we knew. My friends, they were non-Christian. Non we knew something happened to you. 